purchased this law for the exclusivity of her husband. As you may have noticed, he suffered a serious fall last year and has been institutionalized as a quadriplegic. Oh, there was also brain damage. Shock. There's dead one. I don't need anything else. Mm, you name it, he has it. <laughs> uh, under Nurse Dagmar's supervision, we have recently obtained permission to transport Father Holloway to these, oh, more, dare I say, holy surroundings. For we have been informed maybe his very few remaining hours or days. It fluctuates. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, Father Holloway, her children, and my wife are all committed to providing this again. You see, Due to his illness, Sidney and I have been separated for nearly a year. Nelson and Lorraine, of course, live far away, although we we're ordinarily a very close family. You got beautiful eyes, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, see, we've been estranged recently, and it has nearly destroyed us to wretched from a, to be wretched from our father, hasn't it, babies? You went in that toilet water I gave you? I think so, yes. <laughs> You're okay. a knockout. <laughs> <laughs> Reunion. <laughs> we will stay until school starts this fall. I'm prepared to remain as long as necessary. Of course, Sydney always loved the wilderness, and this acquisition is our final tribute to the Holloway patriarch. If only I could be assured he would appreciate it. I am here to interpret his responses, Mrs. Holloway. So you see, Mr. and Mrs. King. Oh, snooks! Snooks! <laughs> Howie. All of us here are committed to this last act of benevolence, and if you were to stay here and it appears you have no choice, then we must expect your full cooperation. I just think that's the sweetest story. You gotta give a little, take a little, give a little, make your poor heart break. Some sort of detective. 
detective game was in the brochure sticky? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Murder in the dark. <laughs> is the murderer. The jack of spades is the detective. Nobody announces what they've got, though, till after you've turned off the lights and the murderer has killed somebody. <laughs> you, you know, not really, man. You squeeze, you squeeze their arm like this. <laughs> you get it? I, I think they understand. You just give a couple of good... <laughs> to drop dead quietly and the game goes on until somebody finds the body and screams. She playing? <laughs> <laughs> I do not play games. <laughs> I think we should all play. Remember our purpose. This sounds like a terrible game, Nelson. On the contrary, here it sounds most appropriate. <laughs> Announces himself or herself, see, and, and sort of, you know, gathers everybody together and cross examines them to find the murderer. What if people don't tell the truth? Okay, man, everybody's <laughs> gotta tell the truth. Only the murderer can lie. Somebody's got a deck of cards? Oh, I got my go fish deck. Well, give it. <laughs> Come on, man, don't be a bummer. No. <laughs> Man, you're on a bad 